Okay, uh, mighty filmmakers. So, uh, guys and and girls and and everybody else. So, if you if you, if you lost and if, and if you feel like you need to find your place and uh, you're looking for other filmmakers, professionals, and uh, students and beginners and basically everybody who is interested in filmmaking, you are more than welcome to follow through to mightyfilmmakers.com and uh, register on our uh, let's call it a Facebook of. Uh, of uh, filmmaking because but 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 we you know we are better because we are focusing on filmmaking only and and that's great so we are exchanging information uh, setting up projects uh, uh, making short films and films and, and 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 whatever you really like to be to be honest just kind of uh, uh, trying to share our knowledge and trying to meet each other and i hope really soon we'll be able to meet each other again in our networking events uh, coffee shop film talks but anyway uh, today I'll be talking to, I'll be talking to Rosalie Karn, and we'll be talking about something quite interesting. Hey, you you are in. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. Hello. Thank you, everyone. How um, thank you very much, Asatures and Mighty Filmmakers, for having me. Oh, it's uh, you, you know what? It's it's great to have you because I'm I'm thirsty for a good conversation. So I'm I'm sure we'll we'll have it now, definitely. Okay. I'm 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 more than convinced. And yeah, I can see some comments rolling in. Good. Thank you. We'll see you and and you can hear us loud and clear as well. That's great. That's great. Okay. I, I mean, let's let's begin with my sort of favorite uh, part, which is uh, I want to I want to I want to figure out with all the viewers, who are you? What do you do? <laughs> Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> I mean, like the hardest. It's the part. best. Uh, okay, um, I'm I'm trying to. I will try to do that in uh, in one minute. Um, originally, I'm an actress. I've been working in the film industry for film and stage industry for um, more than 15 years. Uh, I've been acting and I directed plays and I uh, did a one woman show as well that I wrote and performed and produced. Um, and then I started to do um, to uh, also um, uh, help people like friends to make their own uh, short film. So I was like assistant and um, first AD and things like that. And uh, it all really started on the film industry, like film uh, filmmaking side when I moved to London. Uh, about five years ago, not not exactly, but um, yeah, around five years ago. And uh, in London, uh, so many doors opened and uh, I just uh, met other people and um, they wanted to like uh, make films and projects together. And uh, I directed plays again in English here and I started to make uh, short films about three years ago and uh, literally I discovered, I mean, I have an experience of being uh, on set for like um, like 15 years plus, plus but uh, when it's your turn to actually be the captain on board, you're like, to oh my God, shots. this is really the, <laughs> the big thing. So um, I, I learned a lot by just doing it, just technically. Mm. Uh, when you think, oh yeah, it's going to be great, that is going to happen, and then we're going to, and then how are we going to do that shot? Like literally, like, is it even feasible? And then, mm. yeah, that's, do you know, and I like the making it, it, it I like even be better the making of the film rather than, I mean, it's really the, the way rather than just the destination. Like, of mm. course, if you have a great movie at the end, that's, that's the, uh, the goal but the the journey is great as well hmm, the process definitely yeah. because i think this is what we are all addicted to is actual process of making something by the way yeah. everybody watching please feel free to share this conversation on your timelines and and spread the word basically uh, yeah okay i, I really want to go back again i want to go back because what fascinates me usually is the very beginning and and uh, and i know some people can relate to you know many stories and it's quite interesting to hear so if you go all the way back have you ever thought of filmmaking as a as as your hobby or business or anything at all or how did you end up in this position where you think that it's something you have to do i i first uh, discovered it was simultaneously i discovered two things uh first uh when i was acting on set i would not go to the 
actors table with the directors and it was in France so it's I don't know it's yeah it's pretty much the same here in, in England but like it's very uh, uh, compartmented like you you have the table of the technicians and you have the tables of the directors and the and the cast and it's they don't really uh, like uh, share much or they because it's you're on a tight schedule sometime and it's it's really like um, like that but uh I started to uh, act like, and I and I always was curious. So curiosity is a great thing. It's like a dictionary. You can learn so much. So now I would talk to the assistants, costume designers, everyone, and I would say, oh, what do you do? Oh, yeah, because you need to think about the audio as well, because the microphone needs to go here. Oh, the wig. Oh, no, no, no. Why do you put that filter? Oh, and the movement? Why do you do that? And I was kind of at school. I was really learning and asking so many questions. And also, uh, I discovered that I loved um, even more than acting. I love directing. Mm. It's just because I, I could close my eyes and I could see what I wanted, not only on set. Well, here for the purpose of Mighty Filmmakers, it's on set, but it all comes to telling a story. And it, 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 uh, it, it came from uh, directing plays. Like literally, and even I had a director for um, a, a stage director for my one woman show. But when I was writing it, I already closed. I, I really cl closed my eyes and see, OK, she enters the stage. She does that. Then she I, I say she, but it would be me anyway. But it was just like a very a visual experience. And I would know hmm. like like little sequences how to tell the story. And I think it's directing actors and and then understanding the medium of the film how how uh, what are your material how what are your tools to tell this story and and filmmaking is is absolutely amazing because you can uh use pictures you can use slow down like uh, uh sl slow motion you can you can uh use uh slideshows you can use film of course you can fast forward you can you can sound as well is amazing sound is so important uh music I can I can I can see some uh, questions coming in. So I uh, uh, Simon is asking, as a filmmaker, um, one sec, I have something in front of his comment at the moment. Like, uh, as if uh, filmmakers, can you still? Oh, as a filmmakers, can you still suspend disbelief when watching films? Yes, it's yeah, it's a very interesting mm. question. Thank you, Simon. Uh, it's just. Yeah, you, you're right, because yes, but you're right in the sense that when you when you watch a movie, you kind of uh, you are you are in the confession of you kind of know how they they made they did it, you know, but you are amazed by I think when you don't see uh the technical like the technical aspects anymore is when the acting is absolutely amazing where you actually relate to the emotion of the character and i think it's uh when you are connected to the emotion of the character you don't it's like literally on stage i come on stage and i for my one woman show i spoke to invisible ca characters but suddenly people could see the people who were not here so i was like what are you talking about stop touching me oh and suddenly that other person is here and like, oh, it's a bad person. Like they were, they were engaged, they were engaging and there was no one. It's just mm. when suddenly there's, it was an appalling so, acting, no. by the way, but it's just like, it, oh my God. It kind of, I, don't touch me on that. Oh. I'm just wondering, I, I kind of, how I look at it always is, is if I can, uh, if I'm watching a movie and I'm taken away by it, I usually don't even want to go back and analyze it because I just want to have this, feeling of this fantasy and this world basically to just just enjoy it basically so i exactly. i guess i guess if films takes you away i guess then that then that's a good work and and it doesn't affect you so, as a filmmaker does it in that sense that you don't have to deconstruct it straight away while you're watching it yeah <laughs> i really think i discovered also there were different steps in uh in understanding uh like what film like what where what what is cinema and how do we make films and and i was uh in the first part of my career i was acting mostly um and therefore when i looked when i was uh watching the um, the credits i would look at the director oh my god he made the film he's amazing 
And after I really discovered, I think that was something like six, seven years ago, because uh, I started writing as well. So I discovered, uh, and I did some screenwriting uh, workshops. So I discovered that everything is in the story. Like mm. everything mm. is on the page. So I, I thought, oh yeah, the director that morning decides, okay, let's not do that here, let's do that here. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's been approved by producers, it's been approved by the cast who learned their lines and, and the audio who's, who, who are, like they're sure that they can, uh, the sound engineers and they're sure they can uh, hear you because the fountain is not too, you know, like all these things. And I discovered that the script is so, like it's a core, it's it, there's nothing without the script mm, mm. and uh so you can have that as well uh i still answer the question of simon uh it's the same sort of feeling when you finish a good book like a good thriller mm. and i just finished a very good book that's only my opinion maybe you you find it shit. sorry <laughs> it's um, all right it's <laughs> okay like, okay oh my god bad um we're old so enough to handle shit. Finished, it's okay uh, it's not in english it's still in French, so it, it just uh, came out uh, in March 2020, and because of the COVID and everything, uh, it hasn't been uh, translated yet, but that's, uh, I'm lucky enough to speak French. So it's the Swiss uh, author, uh, Joel Dicker. Uh, um, his last book was uh, the, the Enigma of uh, Room 622, mm. and it's brilliant, and like many other, like Arlen Cobbins or Stephen King's uh, uh, thrillers that I absolutely adore, but the thing is, when I was going, I was arriving at the end, I was like, oh my God, this is going to be finished. And I was furious that it was finished, <laughs> that I didn't have this rendezvous where I could go on with the story. It's pretty much the same with yeah, a movie. So you were when hooked. You, once you've seen a movie, you need to wait five years before watching it again. Mm -hmm. I can see uh, there's another question. We, we still, yeah, we still didn't have a chance to talk about your project, but okay, but it's fine. Oh, we, yeah, but God, we're having a good I'm conversation. It's okay. We're having a good conversation. Tope is asking, uh, I hope I pronounce it right, um, is how do you think the new normal is going to affect filmmaking, especially where you have to deal with large crowds? Oh, the new so normal. So I guess like, it's uh, it's a post pandemic. It's, yeah, yeah. Um, it's only my opinion, and so I'm here to express myself. I I really think that um, human beings are are very surprising when it comes to overcoming obstacles, and in a way, I have this this like thought or feeling that when you give an architect uh, very precise like deadlines and uh, it's like um, a list of the things that they cannot do and things that they can do, they are actually much more creatives. And when you, when you, uh, when you uh, send them like uh, barriers, limits or limitations and things like that, they are suddenly, it's like they are, there's gray cells are okay. How can I do that in a certain amount of town, in a town time with uh, that many people and with that material? And and I think it's on the on the contrary. I think it might boost the creative uh, like uh, skills of the filmmakers because not only will they be able to uh, create. I, I think if you give money, okay. The worst is if you give money to um to a filmmaker a lot of money and he can do whatever he wants i'm not sure about the <laughs> results no 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 no. it's it's also a, a great feeling of achieving something that is not so easy and instead of thinking oh i'm, I'm gonna do i'm like okay there's an obstacle um can we do that we can't um okay not an option uh can we maybe do that it's not the best but we can and you kind of like, and all these brains are working together to find answers. How do you like it's? Yeah. How do yeah. you how do you look at it? Well, basically, how my worry about it. I, I tell you my concerns about this, and I, I'm wondering what's your take on that. 
is that uh, if, if you remember, even before all this happened, we, we, we had quite a lot of talk of uh, making a features, low budget features in a single location with a couple of actors and so on and on. So at some point, we there were so many films already produced in this sort of very simplistic way, let's say, uh, not artistically maybe, but in kind of within this formula. I'm wondering what's going to happen now. Are we going to see like millions of Zoom movies, or do you know what I mean? Because everybody is now is now kind of trying to make a film online. <laughs> so I'm wondering how does how does that gonna affect the industry in in a sense big companies can continue working as they do but small smaller independents I'm not sure what do you think um, I think uh, it's it's pretty much when you have everyone doing the same thing you're lost in a in a fish tank you know like you're really uh, you're lost in the ocean uh, I really think you need to um, come up with um, you really th you need to come up with better ideas, uh, bolder ideas, and uh, be more like original and and risk more things. I mean, not the health of your team or anything, but risk doing something that nobody has done before. And because oh my god, I don't have money, I shouldn't pretend to be. Money is just uh, it's a means to to do things. But if you don't have money, you can have uh, energy. Uh, a vision, uh, a great team, having your backs, and and um, hmm. yeah. Can I speak about the movie? <laughs> you you can, but uh, before that, we go to Natalia, and Natalia is saying it really is all about how so many creative minds come together. So she's speaking about filmmaking. I guess it's back to what we discussed. Uh, cre um, uh, how so many creative minds come together on um, on a set. It's really the only art form that allows for that kind of exchange between creatives. What part of filmmaking do you wish you could do? Something you cannot do on a technical level. So what part of filmmaking you wish you could do on a technical level, which you cannot do uh, right I now? Can't. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I would love to be able to edit. Hmm. Why? Once again, it's a question of telling a story. <laughs> Literally, you have the same film, three, three different editors, three different films, three different story. Uh, edit is not on, only about putting the, the in order, like you putting the scenes in order and you cutting and with the transitions. It's the whole, I would think it's, as the music for me is the soul of a movie, the edit, the editing is the breath. You give, it's like uh, an animated something, you have something, you, you have like, a, you have a little um, automat like that, and suddenly it's Pinocchio, it's alive, because you put them together and you do, you're doing the movement, you are the, the mechanic, like, it's the motion. Okay. Otherwise, they would just footage. So it's yeah, it's it, it, yeah. This is that's the, that's the beautiful part of it. But uh, if you learn editing, don't you think you're going to be affecting work of editors so much that they're gonna? No, I'd love to learn uh, how to edit, just to be able to maybe do a a, a rough, hmm. you know, like to put the things together and do a rough sort of put them in order, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like very very basic, and then send them the, the thing and then do their magic because they can really not only enhance, they can transform uh, for the bet for the better um, any uh, any footage like yeah, yeah. that's that, that kind of reminds me when you receive your sound mix for the first time that's magic straight away you think your film comes alive when you receive your first <laughs> edit same kind of thing you think oh wow this all comes together anyway tell me tell all of us about your okay, project by finally the way, I'm we're here. like 20 minutes in uh, i'm not doing any promotion because the film is not out yet um so i've decided uh i've decided <laughs> who, who, do, who do you think i am who do i think i am but anyway um uh yeah like six months ago um so i it all started with me wanting to um show the uh agents and casting directors how good an actress i was Okay, anyway, so I thought, let's write a scene with two characters who are doppelgangers. And I thought about a two minute scene. It ended up being a full, uh, like a, a short film because it was like 20 minutes, then went down to 15. Now it's gonna be around 10, <laughs> 10 minutes because it's straight to the point. It's more like the essential that we kept. 
Um, and it became like obvious that I needed a proper like crew and I need and I needed to produce it and to to make it as a, as a short film. So it all started by accident. Pretty much uh, the same happened when I decided to have a, an all female uh, like an all female team. Um, I thought because uh, last year I, I made a, a short film and uh, it was 80 percent male like on set and then and, and, uh, cast and and um, I thought, okay, I'm going to surround myself with more women this time. And I, I was speak I don't know with whom I was, but I was speaking to a friend and I looked at my like uh, contact book and I thought, okay, maybe I can, oh no, it's a guy. Uh, maybe I can, oh, for the sound, I, oh no, that's a guy. Uh, okay. And I was like, where are the girls? Where are the women? Where are the women filmmakers? I'm sure they are, they are some, they Definitely. are somewhere, they are hiding. <laughs> So I decided to go to different uh, filmmakers uh, meetups and uh, and talks and uh, and screenings and festivals and I started to uh, pitch my my uh, project and I had already uh, a part of the the crew that I uh, worked with like I had two girls from the past uh, you see <laughs> two girls from the past um, uh, from the former film that I did uh, they were already um, on board uh, but then I thought okay I need that 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 and uh, suddenly when I said it was an all, like uh, I, I wanted more women, I started to have a lot of talented women contacting me and I met them and we spoke about the project and everything and that was it. And then I thought, okay, let's go full, full Monty. <laughs> let's go fully uh, female. <laughs> so it's it was an accident and now I'm very happy because um, even though the real uh, film shoot has not happened yet, uh, we have met on several occasions for, um, uh, I'm a storyboard artist as well. So I, I was deciding with the DOP, how we're going to place the camera and the movements and everything. So we met on many occasions. We had some, uh, uh, a photo shoot, uh, to create the poster with the two profile, like mm -hmm. the profile pictures and, and many, uh, a photo shoot also for the props, because I will tell you about the pitch of that movie. It's about an actor, an actress. So we need to create like a career. Um, and uh, once we, uh, when we met with these uh, lovely uh, girls, it was like, it was clear that there was, it was very quiet. There was no, there was ego. Of course there is ego. Like me, me, me. I'm sorry. I'm the one who is making the film and I star in it and I produce it. And it's like, of course there is ego. But once we started to kind of work together, there was a sense of it's okay to not know. Uh, and it's okay to not have the answer. We don't have to prove anything to anyone. Uh, we just enjoy being together. We had fun. We made jokes. Uh, I mean, they all come on their free time. They are professional, but there's for now there's no money. So the least I could do or we could all do together is uh, taking pleasure. Like it would be like pleasurable. Otherwise, why would you do that? I mean, like I stay home, I watch uh, I watch a Stephen King or like I, I read Stephen King book and, and, and I'm fine, you know. So uh, we really had fun and it was a sense of really like this is not something like to say but yeah like having our backs like oh what we're we gonna it's okay i thought about it oh great like like a um an ensemble view mm. like really like uh little ants working together doing the building the castle like the sand castle yeah that uh, was i don't know no, it's, uh, yeah it's, i need to tell you the pitch yeah the pitch. The, exactly so but before that before that uh, i have a i have a kind of a a bit of a tough question probably uh, which is uh, to me is very interesting actually to know uh, when you were searching for your crew members were you were you searching online were you searching on Facebook were you kind of using social media to reach out to female filmmakers you did okay uh, I need to tell you guys because um, the reason why I'm here today and the reason why I uh, I uh, have an amazing uh, marketing director, Ala, is thanks to uh, Mighty Filmmakers event, because you did an event. I wasn't there, but uh, my so I went to a uh, Rendon's um, um, like filmmaking event. Like it was like a exchange. Uh, boozing and schmoozing. 
boozing at a, thank you very much yeah. networking event so you can pitch you can uh, say you can tell people what you're doing and you're you're like you can say hey i'm looking for an assistant director i'm looking for la 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 and uh so there i met gislaine my editor but actually they went to your event with ala marketing director and gislaine that's where Gislaine met Ala. Uh, okay. uh, at our coffee shop film talk, said, I guess. You should have her on board. And I said, <laughs> yeah, marketing director, we need a producer. And then she said, mm, you should really speak to her. And oh my God, thank God. I really, and thank uh, Gislaine that I this really is... contacted her because she's absolutely uh, amazing. And all the other, everything, like when it, when it has to happen, it does happen. Like you meet the right people. Um, I, I, um, I really encourage you to look at the, I'm not going to name all of them um, here, but to look at the team and they're just really, really good at what they do. So, so. They're really like good support and, and good personalities as well. It's not only like, um, so then Gislaine said you should contact Allah and Allah said, oh yeah, you should contact Mighty Filmmaker. So that's the whole circle. That and see, it's because people like you are, oh, no. Um, <laughs> no, no, you, I mean, without you, it's, you created an event. You're not the only one. That's why I I, uh, I take the liberty to say that because there are other filmmakers and they're trying to do like events and things and talks. And I think it's really important that we we actually share. Yes. And it's not like, okay, you see the nice yes. ad on your computer, you click, go, go. No, I don't go. I don't know anyone. Oh, I don't know. It's like, it's very, you need to jump. There's mm -hmm. a moment you need to go and you have your heart like goes, do, 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 do. You don't know anyone. You grab a, a alcohol-free beer. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, you just, you start to chat and you see that other people are terrified like you. What, what, you're, say, you what you're saying makes me happy and it makes me happy not, not uh, because, uh, you know, these, these are the moments where I feel like uh, something is working sometimes and people do connect and this that's great. That's the proof. And that's great. Yeah, that's the proof. Oh, that's great. It's, it's really good to hear, honestly. That, that helps me a lot because at some point, you know, there are points in life when you think, why? Why why, why is all this? And, and those are the moments. Thank you. But my question was not about that. <laughs> okay. Uh, my, but was it, was, about? but it was great to hear, though. It was great to hear. I'm happy that... Uh, we managed to connect some people and that's what it's all about connecting people and actually not being afraid to reach out and talk to each other because we are i always say we're not the competition we are actually yeah. we are friends we're not competition yeah. we, we are neighbors. yeah exactly we are we are all in it and and yeah. we, we just yeah anyway good but my, my question actually is um there is something nasty i always see on the facebook posts it's facebook and every single social media is quite toxic and filmmakers mm -hmm. have to deal with things constantly and uh, there a lot of the times people misinterpret casting calls of all female crew how do you yeah. how how did you deal with it how did you go around it did you get any you know, nasty I, uh, response i really believe that you're responsible for you not how people react uh, the idea was pretty much by accident, I decided to make that film. It was, I told you, like, I'm completely uh, transparent with you now. Uh, it was just a sort of showreel scene that turned... Into film, <laughs> turned yeah. No, that turned well. <laughs> that turned into a, a short film. So That happens a lot, so... It's, you know, it's I'll my my own belly button that I decide to uh, uh, work with that person and my neighbor and my aunt and my uh, cousin. Okay, it's only it regards myself. And then suddenly it became something that I didn't decide. It's just like suddenly we were 10 girls and we thought, let's go all in, you know, like literally let's go uh, female. So obviously we, um, we didn't really advertise as we said, we are an all female uh, cast and crew, mm. but we didn't advertise as we're looking for, especially women. There's, there's a, uh, cause now we are, 14, 14 girls, uh, amazing uh, members of the, of the quite, team. That's quite a team uh, you have. But, <laughs> yeah, but we're still looking for, yeah. So the thing is, we were open to also receiving uh, male uh, candidacy because uh, this is, as you said, 
sharing contact, not maybe not specifically for this one. And it's not a question of uh, gender. It's also aptitudes like skills. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not exactly what we're looking for. Um, and, and also for now, no, but we kept the CVs and I've got, believe me now that I, that I think that I just need to make films. Hmm. I just like, uh, I, I stopped the, all the limiting beliefs, uh, like, uh, you can't do things, uh, oh, you're not, uh, big enough or you're not good enough or all these things. Now I'm thinking just, I've got all these, uh, scripts in my drawer and they, they want to leave. Please make us <laughs> <laughs> like. Literally, so yeah, it's true. It's true, and I can't decide. And you know what? I was disappointed where when I didn't, I didn't get the part, and I found out that they they gave the part to the cousin or the nephew or niece of someone else. You know, like for, from someone from the production. You know what? At the end of the day, it's if it's not written, uh, I I thank God because no, I think it's a new opportunity and other doors opened, and maybe if I had these roles then I wouldn't be talking to you right now, mm. making my own uh, indie uh, film. So um, can I talk about the script side piece? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can, yes. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Unless you're not really interested. No, I, I am know? interested. I'm, I, you know what? I, I, can, I can talk filmmaking all 24 hours a day. <laughs> so you, go Skype. for it. Go yeah. for it. <laughs> So the flip side is called the flip side. Uh, so yeah, whatever. Uh, this is the the story. It's um, it's the story of uh, of an actress at the height of her glory, like she's very famous, and uh, she, by circumstances, she finds herself locked up in the VIP room of um, of the festivals, like the the ceremony uh, building during the, the the award ceremony and in this room there is a screen where she actually can see the ceremony being broadcasted and uh, she sees her doppelganger getting on stage and receiving her uh, award in her in her stead um, and then the doppelganger will um, deliver her vengeance <laughs> so that's the idea. Uh, I wanted to, for me, it all started with uh, just a scene that I wanted to work and show that I could um, play different parts, uh, you know, like for the showreel. But then it was a question about identity. And I think it's uh, even more like it's very, uh, it's very actual, like every, at every stage of the of our history. Our identity is uh, our culture, where we are born, what our parents told us, what uh, God we believe in, and uh, it's pretty much like a social identity. Um, but I really, I really uh, wanted to speak about the what makes us unique, hmm. because with a doppelganger or twin, if you want, this time they don't, they're not blood related, so they're not even anything like, oh, she's my sister after all. I could, you know, no, there is I'll no. I'll forgive you. <laughs> like, you, can, you can go all in as well. You, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm, with your mm -hmm. revenge. So uh, there were several aspects. Um, as far as I'm concerned, in the in the industry, uh, I'm pretty much taking my revenge <laughs> for all the times where because there's a big. That's that's also connected to the identity of also being a woman in the film industry that we we kind of uh we instead of fighting or fighting working together and collaborating to uh make the world a better place but sort of you know make make movies <laughs> and and be part of the of the mm. game you know we kind of stab each other in the back which is really not cool uh and there's a big rivalry between women uh like uh, you have no idea well i'm telling you and so it was a way of getting my revenge sort of uh, over an actor, an actress, for the character, and also I was always wondering uh, if very like minor events in your childhood would turn like if you if you opened that door or if you didn't take that train or if you didn't if this thing didn't happen, would you be here today or would you have made the same choices? And and I really like that. And it all started in the story. It all started in the childhood. <laughs> okay, uh, that's quite that's quite a lot to to unpack now. Um, uh, there is a question actually online: Are there any clips we can see online? Okay, 
so now uh, we are uh, the the scenes that we shot to create a teaser, not a trailer, a teaser uh, to give the a sense of the vibe of the movie and a teasing literally uh, is being edited as we speak. Uh, we are going to launch a crowdfunding campaign soon, uh, month. Mm. Monthish, okay. Uh, so after the crowdfunding campaign, we will um, we will film in October. Like it's kind of like because it takes time, and um, and we need to the all the logistic like to book locations to to see with the costume designer like food all the things to prepare it takes time after the crowdfunding, mm. and also we need like to raise the money to uh prepare that there is a there is a usual issue i'm having which is some sort of a type of procrastination i guess where you have an idea you you have probably a script already done but you cannot convince yourself that this is the project which you have to go ahead with how did you do that with this project how did you put yourself in a position where you knew for sure this is what you need to do i trapped myself it's pretty much when you, uh, I stopped smoking, uh, I quit smoking uh, five years ago. Like pretty much everything happened in London, <laughs> just right before I, I came to London. So thank you, thank you London. Uh, so literally I uh, trapped myself pretty much the same way I, I did for quitting smoking. Uh, I told people that I, that I quit. <laughs> so uh, there's no way I'm gonna take another cigarette. <laughs> Technically, so when you want to trap yourself and um, that's kind of you need to jump. There's a moment. Nobody's going to make your movie for you. Nobody's going to take your hand and help you. Uh, they will help you if you help yourself. And the best is to have uh, your script uh, writ like uh, read, hmm. have it read and like go to writer's group and have a you, you write for two hours and then you have a, a coffee or non-alcoholic drinks uh, in a pub. And uh, of course you can have beer, but it's just like, I'm not trying to promote uh, alcohol <laughs> consumption. Um, so you, uh, you you speak to people and once they know about it, you, you no have no idea. choice. And then they have their opinion and they say, mm, how about the ending? And it's like, you're like, who do you think you are? And then after you thinking, you know what? <laughs> they ha they are giving me their opinion, their time, their energy. They, they took the time to read it and they're actually right. And now they are in the loop. Like there's a, there's a witness to the fact that you've written something. So it looks like stupid if you show up uh, three weeks later and you have not mm. moved, moved forward. So I really think you should so, so I guess uh, I guess you like uh, uh, you are you, you like to shame uh, shame yourself publicly, basically. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you set up yourself for the failure, and then you have no choice just to make it happen. Basically, that's very yeah. interesting. That's very <laughs> that's very interesting because you know some people say. Well, at least it works for me. I don't know about you guys, yeah, so, but so, some people say you shouldn't you shouldn't be telling your you know kind of your plans otherwise it will never happen and and all that type of stuff but uh, you're doing completely the opposite which which I, I think it, it definitely can work if you know first you need to like because when you're on your own it's only you and, and your consciousness the minute you kind of uh, have your script read people have their opinion you rewrite the script you work again and suddenly you you start saying, hey, I would like to make that movie, but I don't really know where to start. And suddenly you've got tons of people and they like uh, your your neighbors, your friends who are not uh, filmmakers, but they, hey, my cousin is a filmmaker. Mm. Should I put you in touch? Oh, yeah, why not? And suddenly it starts to be all these people who are one position after another filling the positions, you know, um, this is kind of a question. Uh almost do you have easy questions uh, well it's kind of easy kind of easy it's an easy question it's everybody at the any pitching session would ask you this uh and and it's about the uh why do you think the story should be made why do you think your story should be on the screen ah uh, why why because i uh i want I want personally to watch my movie. Okay. So I want to have this experience when I am in the dark room, like in front of the screen. And I want, even though I know the ending, oh, <laughs> but I want the thrill. 
I want to be like, oh my God, what is she going to do? Really? How? I want the that emotion, the same emotion that you are 10 pages from the end of this freaking book and you want that. Why do you, why do you uh, end up reading 500 pages? It's for these 10 last pages that you're like completely hooked. No, 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 don't answer the phone. No, 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 don't kill the cat. You know, yeah, you're, no, no animals were armed during that <laughs> live stream. But uh, literally because I want the the experience like the um, I want the thrill I want people to have the thrill and I think I don't know I, I believe that's a, that's a bizarre intriguing enough uh, story and also the project also now it started from a scene for a show reel to a short film to now the short film in itself is a story you can understand it there's no problem and it's very like comedy thriller but then the plan is to uh, develop the the short into a feature and that will be more psychological thriller which is my uh range like i, I my genre I, I love it so uh and i'm already uh developing the um, the treatment for the story of like the feature feature length story movie uh, is I don't know if it does answer your yeah, question. It definitely does. It just it, it just kind of makes me think about uh, uh, going back to f you mentioned the word curiosity at one point, and I think this is all goes back to that as well. That it, it's it's that filmmaker's curiosity to want to know more, want to see more, want to understand more, want to find out, and want to kind of. But I really want to ask you. Uh, this is sort of a beginning for you in film directing. Yeah, yeah, in, um, in kind of this type of project, and and you have you have a uh, quite a lot of people, I have to say, for independent uh, short film already on board. Fourteen people. That's that's amazing, and uh, and uh, they're crazy. How do they're crazy? How, <laughs> I bet, I bet. And they're all watching, and they're like, what? What are you? <laughs> I bet, uh, but. Um, uh, no, but also I wanted to tell mm. you that the team is not only uh, amazing individuals, it's they are from all the parts of the world. Like uh, we have a uh, Russian, um, Ala, marketing director. We have uh, two French, uh, Ghislaine, editor, Marie, uh, music composer. We have um, Polish origin uh, slash American. Uh, we have uh, Isabel, American. We have Bailey. We have uh, Bulgarian, uh, my DOP. We have Italian, um, DOP, uh, Teddy. Uh, photographer, Rosetta, Italian. Like, like we, and, and I'm French, but we, we come from very different uh, backgrounds and, uh, well, That's... filmmaking background mm. but, or photography background, but uh, we are all here and we speak uh, with a Shakespeare's language and... It's it's sometimes a bit crazy because but that's great because we bring I think a bit of our own culture of our own not only like the cultural like uh, uh, tradition like in our country we would do we, for for Christmas we do that instead of that and it's more about their films the films that they were um, immersed w in when they were like five or ten years old and their old childhood uh, culture. And, and the um, influences, the uh, references they have are very different from my own and, and any... Uh, and we have English, oh, say, uh, we have uh, Rebecca, she's English and uh, British. And uh, Wendy, she's... Um, um, Rebecca is associate director. Wendy is um, a production designer. Uh, I'm sure I... Oh, Bjorn is, uh, is British as well. She's a makeup artist. I'm, I'm sorry if I, I don't have the list, but now that... <laughs> We are 14. It's, uh, yeah. Oh, and my aunt is French. She, my aunt, she's an actress in the movie. She's French. And Chloe is uh, is British. She's cast as that's well, a, an actress. I think that's the beauty of London, actually, <laughs> where where you can get such a, such a, people from all around the world, you know, and, and connecting in one project. That's, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Definitely. Oh, and Natalia. Natalia, she's Mexican. Sorry. She's my uh, associate producer. I'm just thinking about. I hope I haven't forgotten anyone. <laughs> they won't. They won't. They won't. Like, they won't forgive so you. <laughs> I will have to make a video just for them, for the one I forgot. So Sorry. I, I. I guess I'm gonna ask. Um, did I ask that or no? I didn't. Uh, I. I was gonna ask actually, as this is your sort of first that type of project. 
Uh, it kind yeah. of feels like I asked that already, but I probably didn't. Uh, what type of films are you making? What what type of films do you want to make? So my point here is mainly think about: do you want to do you want to educate? Do you want to? What is it? Is it uh, an entertainment? Is it some sort of lesson? Is it, what 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 are your films? Which way you want to take your directing career, basically? Um, I pretty much, uh, I think it's connected to books. I, I want to make, uh, I want to tell stories that could be a very good thriller, page turner book into, uh, movies, mm -hmm. like literally, uh, but to the point that it's not, uh, like, like, uh, I would love I don't know if it's possible. I would love the story to continue, like the film to continue in the minds of the viewers after it's been, uh, after it's finished. I would love to do that. Um, I literally want to, I want to make, I want to tell stories and I want to, uh, I want to create characters that you could, that stories that could actually be true. Like, I, I I'm not, yeah, I'm interested by uh, the time travel. Okay, so that would be a project for a sci-fi movie because it's this. This is fantasy. Like it's mm. not real. Well, it's not been proven <laughs> possible yet. Um, but other than that, I would like to um, create characters and stories that you could really believe happened. And it's pretty much uh, the process when uh, when I'm writing. Uh, because I'm writing a, a, a feature, not the flip side, into a feature, another one that's called Forgotten, that's a psychological thriller, nothing to do with it, another story. And um, when I was writing it, I was thinking, I was not in the process of creating it, I was a detective. So how did he do that? How did he manage? Oh, maybe it, oh, no, 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 oh, I know. Maybe, and that you kind of like, you are the detective of your own story. You kind of, uh, you look at all your elements, all your tools, and you suddenly it clicks as if you were Colombo or, I don't know, or Sherlock. <laughs> it's kind of a self-exploration and, and the, the process you, you're loving, I yeah. guess, at this point. You're, you're kind of remembering the story that, that happened a long time ago or on another planet. It's kind of like you're not inventing anything. You're just putting things together and suddenly... It, it pops up as being a story. Hmm. Okay, I have a, I have two more kind of big questions, <laughs> I guess. Do you have any mini questions? Not, not that. Because you, <laughs> you haven't thrown anything uh, mini. You're just um, like, okay, difficult questions. Well, that's not, yeah. not, not difficult again, but it's just, it, those are just things which I'm, I, I'm really interested in, basically. Uh, Simon is saying, must be thefty canteen bill in the budget then, <laughs> when you have 14 people <laughs> to feed. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, uh, yeah, well... <laughs> You know, we are we are girls. We don't <laughs> eat. We have birds' appetite. That's probably a lie. Just in some tea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I was going to ask you, um, how do you? Uh, what would you say? I think the big one of the biggest issues to anyone is believing in yourself and trying to believe that you are worth it, that your story is worth being produced that there are people out there who are gonna join you no matter what that there are people who are gonna help you out you know and 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 give you something obviously if you if if, if you're not crazy bastard you know but how do you how do you what, what would you say to people how to begin how to start where to start how to do it um it's I like when you said uh, believe in yourself and that's that's a big word like you should believe in yourself and you're like uh, okay easier said than done and the thing is also to um, go back to reality okay uh, I like to compare filmmaking with uh, sandcastle making okay we are all together in this and we're having fun like kids on the beach and we're gathering some shells and uh, seaweeds and uh, some uh, some sand and uh, 
and but we know the tide is coming so it's gonna be gone like we we have very it's just like a window okay and if we uh we really want to do this it's very thrilling like let's do this there's the challenge and everything but at the end of the day we're not changing like we're not saving the world or lives or anything we are changing perceptions of some people maybe we are uh, contributing to uh entertaining but entertaining is not a bad word i really think entertainment is is really the uh the ability to dream the ability to disconnect with uh, a reality of uh that could be very uh heavy sometimes uh for your shoulders and for like an hour or two you just dream or you, you just disconnect and you you uh you uh accept and you welcome a new reality and you're like oh yeah and you are flying like uh like harry potter you are you are a, a magician you are a superman for for uh or wonder woman in that case for uh for a certain period of time and i really think it's it's just also calm down you're not someone because you're making a movie you're just making a movie you're in the process of <laughs> making a movie you know and like uh I mean, they know what I'm talking about, the team, I, like the girls, because I, I always kind of, and I know it's, um, I know it's hard and that's a challenge, but I kind of always to go down to what this is that we're doing. Is, is exactly, we, we had a, a quick chat uh, with Assateurs when you said, I went to this, uh, I launched this event with a bow tie and, and, and you, you looked like a penguin or something. And it, it was like, okay, it was a very fancy dinner in a nice place. And, but I want to make films. This is, this is not what I'm making films for. I just want uh, the, I want to be a kid again. I want to be a, a big eyes open. And, uh, and uh, you, you look at the screen and you're like, wow. Or you cry and like, oh my God. Or you hide or I, I'm like, yeah, thrill. I love that. I love that. And that's that's such a nice place to round up our conversation to be honest. It's 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 great. I like that. Uh can you yeah, maybe maybe let's use a couple of minutes and uh do you need to maybe you need to reach out to some other female filmmakers and yes. you're looking for yes. some people Thank what's you. going on there? Yes. We are looking for uh key cast. <laughs> <laughs> We are looking for a great uh producer uh to come on board now um which is not someone who would gain a work experience and who just started uh we really need now we will need some uh, assistants and runners and uh, closer to the film shoots and then we will know more how many people we need and and, and everything but uh now i'm the producer and uh natalia is an associate producer but we need another producer to come on board uh, who's got a great experience of um, short films and, uh, and the process, and we will uh, we will also start the casting and then uh, so uh, oh, and we're looking for uh, twin sisters, um, ten to ten ten to twelve years old, uh, possibly looking like me younger, at ten or twelve years old. Yeah. So these are the big, big thing. And we, we're looking for uh, uh, another a key cast first AD. First AD and producer are the two big positions that now we are like, tw -tw -tw -tw. we are just, we are in the cap, like in the place where our capacity is being overloaded, mm. you know, like. Uh, where can people reach out? Where can they look for you? Where can they find your contact? They can, uh, they can reach out. Uh, um, uh, they can uh, find us on our page, the flip side, Facebook, or uh, they can on uh, Facebook and on uh, Instagram as well, the flip side. And also uh, they can reach out to me. Uh, I am on Facebook, Rosalie Soler. Rosalie Soler. Nice one. It was a it was a pleasure to have a chat with <gasps> it you. It was. It's finished already. Yes, I do. I really enjoyed it. And Me too. Thank you I so hope... much. I was so. Uh, I didn't know. I was. I died. You know. I jumped. <laughs> And I didn't know, and that's cool. I, I, I really hope you'll you'll find very quickly the missing sort of link to your production, and uh, and and you'll be able to show your film on a big screen. And I'm kind of expecting some sort of a ticket in my post pretty soon through the door, through the post box, to to see your work, to see your film. Yeah. And yeah. 
and oh, yeah. and and definitely come back it, it was it was definitely great and thank you to everybody who is online thank right you everyone now. for watching and thank you so much mighty filmmakers for um this great conversation very interesting now i want to ask you so many questions but we don't have time so uh that's gonna be another well talk. We'll, we'll, we'll we'll continue behind the scenes <laughs> Okay. 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 Perfect. All right. Thank you, everyone, and uh, and definitely, definitely, Rosalie, come back at one point, and when we'll probably even can show some clips as well at one point, and 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 discuss your yeah. next project, maybe. The teaser is coming. The teaser will be uh, out soon. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye.